Good morning, everyone. Nice to see so many faces. Before we begin, I would like to acknowledge that this conference is taking place on the ancestral and unceded territory of the Squamish, Musqueam, and Tsleil-Waututh First Nations. As was mentioned, my name is Bridget Anderson. I'm the President and CEO of the Greater Vancouver Board of Trade, and I will be your MC for this morning. I would like to welcome you to day three, the keynote day at the inaugural Quantum Gravity Conference. I am honored and slightly daunted to welcome the world's top physicists and Nobel laureates to Vancouver for what I believe will become known as a landmark historic event in the history of physics and humankind. And that's saying a lot, but it's true. I have been in close contact with the conference organizers for the last couple of weeks, and it is daunting, I will say, and I am very excited to be uh, part of the audience today to listen and learn so much. So we know that the cutting edge research and experimentation related to quantum mechanics and relativity is being carried out by some of the most brilliant minds around the world. And the impact of their work will affect us all, whether it's a company, a city, a nation, or every one of us in this room. Our daily lives, our success, our future, and our survival depends on our ability to harness the power and potential of technology. Over the past 100 years, the theories of relativity and quantum mechanics have led to space travel, electronics, lasers, computers, cell phones, plastics, and other technologies that support modern transportation, communications, agriculture, medicine, energy systems, and more. While each theory has led to countless scientific breakthroughs, in many cases they are incompatible and seemingly contradictory. For more than a century now, discovering a unifying connection between these two fundamental theories, the elusive theory of quantum gravity, has become one of the world's greatest scientific challenges. And today, we're going to try and start to solve them. So unlocking the mystery could provide the world with a deeper understanding of time, gravity, and matter, and how to potentially control them. It could also lead to new technologies that would affect most aspects of daily life, including how we communicate, how we grow food, deliver health care, transport people and goods, produce energy, and address the ever complex problem of climate change. Discovering the relationship between these two theories could lead to life on Earth that 100 years from now will look as miraculous to us as today's technology would have seemed to people living 100 years ago. I want to congratulate the Quantum Gravity Society for convening this conference and assembling such an eminent and impressive group of physicists to tackle such a challenge. And some very exciting late-breaking news. As of last night, the Society received charitable status, which now allows the public to contribute to help solve some of the world's most vexing problems. So in the world of business, this is where I come from, just as in daily life, we are all stronger and more effective when we work together. The power of collaboration is just as important in the science world and this week's conference marks a new era in collaboration between a truly international group of scientific experts. Their presence here in Vancouver is a remarkable achievement in itself and to tell us more about that and the Quantum Gravity Society is board member Frank Justra, President and CEO of the Fiori Group. Frank, come on up. <laughs> <laughs> 